We yeah. did it. We did keep a band. We did keep it like no one ever did or ever will. Or ever will. Sorry about your car. It was too slow for a Toretto anyway. You're in power? Nothing is necessary. And action! I'm driving. I'm your driver. This is real life. And he's going to die. Five years. You drive. Still with that negativity. It's not negativity. Yo no soy tu chofer. Yo no voy a manejar. You know how it goes. That's right. That's yours. What up, Eastwood? What up? What up? They extend the minutes on Snapchat. It's a family thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Roman Pierce is stealing Don Toretto's uh, scooter. We're literally stealing it. Yeah. He's gonna end up busting his ass, <laughs> which is not good, because then the universe is gonna be like, why did you ever let him on your scooter? You know he's not authorized. 
You know he hasn't gotten his license. It took a while, but I managed to get his classified military records. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You know what I like about you, Dom? You're a genuine outlaw. Shemaya Tyrese, baby, a.k.a. Roman Pierce. We at it again, sending love from Iceland. Let's go. signal pad. So Dom is clearly communicating with somebody that operates at a high level. She just got it. <laughs> She's definitely a 10. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we focus on someone who's not going to be on anybody's list? Who was that? Charlie is the room. Thank you very much. That is a rock.
Unlimited toys. I love it.
fan base of this franchise is unlike anything I've ever seen. You have fans around the world the way that we have. The motivation and inspiration is beyond your wildest imaginations. Fans who are incredibly loyal, but they're also very, very vocal. You know, you listen to the audience. We feel the weight of that, and because of that, we move forward. What we wanted to do was capitalize off of what the sagas represented for the last two decades and attempt to challenge it. A hell of a job, brother. When we get back to the base, beer's on me. The only way we were really going to be able to continue this story was to expose the darker, more dangerous side to Dom Toretto. And that's what we had to do. It's too late for me. Get out of here. Dominic Toretto just turned on us. This is a completely different story than you ever experienced in the Fast franchise. Dom is always about family. And with this storyline, he's going up against the team and he's going up against the family. What better way to turn this entire franchise on its head than to do something like that? Did you ever think you'd betray your family the way you did today? And then you throw in the element of Charlize Theron. I love that Charlize is in this movie. She really set the tone. She's definitely the fiercest villain the franchise has ever seen. It's a whole new start to the franchise, and that's what we continue to do is reinvent ourselves. Is that a torpedo? Take the wheel. What? This is crazy! Oh. All right, you get style points for that one. Woo! Fate of the Furious is going to blow people's minds. Blow people's minds. Fire! Hang on to your ass! Don't! I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Nothing else matters. For those 10 seconds or less, I'm free. The open road could take you anywhere. To friends, to family. We know he's an O'Connor, but he's also a Toronto. To love or adventure. Let's do it. To see something new. What do you mean, Drift? just to come back home again. Home sweet home. <laughs> the Fast and the Furious saga has explored the endless possibility of the open road. From the streets just outside downtown Los Angeles, we've taken you to Miami. We've taken you to Tokyo. The Dominican Republic. Rio. London. Abu Dhabi. And now, our name is known all over the world. One last ride. We have raced for speed. Raced for honor. Dude, almost had you. Green through cities, tumbled down mountains, and even dropped out of the sky. But no matter how our adventures grow, Fast and the Furious is always about one very important thing. Family. The most important thing in life will always be the people in this room. Salute me, familia. Salute. Our family of characters do everything for each other and with each other. For the millions who make up our global family of fans, we push ourselves to go further and do better time after time. We never ride alone. We never ride alone. We never ride alone. This time it ain't just about being fast. Now we embark on our next chapter. Our family will be challenged like never before by adversaries who show no mercy. Testing that bond that has always kept us together in our most ambitious, most entertaining, fastest, and most furious ride yet. This is Fast and Furious. Dom and Letty. The love is so deep between these two. Letty, jump! <laughs> I think they're kindred spirits. They represent that ideal love. Stop! And I think that that connection has helped throughout all of the films. Just kind of keep a heart underneath all of the action and the chaos. Bloody! 
I'm a walking target. I don't want you around when they catch up to me. I think that what Letty admires about Dom is his independence, his free-spirited gusto for life. You know that's not my style. I gotta ride or die, right? How about you just ride on this one? Dom and Letty have had, from the beginning, unshakable understanding that they're soulmates. One of the best scenes in Fast and Furious, the fourth chapter, is when Dom is explaining to Giselle who this girl was. She's got to have those kind of eyes that can look right to the good in someone. You must have loved her very much. Felicia, get on the ground. I got Toretto. This is like a new relationship for, you know, Dom and Lena. This guy is a criminal. You're under arrest. And she doesn't see that in him. They are in exactly the same situation, Dom and Elena, because they both lost their love of their lives. Hey! They feel like they may be the only people that can understand one another. She's so special to you. I never thought anyone could understand how much, but you do. Dom and Elena are not together. They live in the Canary Islands. We know that Michelle is alive, but now it's a conflict for Dom. It was like, what is he gonna do? It's the one thing that could have crippled Dom and made him second guess everything. It's Letty, isn't it? I think she's really strong to be able to say, go and do whatever you have to do. I would go. He has to go on a prayer. Letty, that she very well may be alive. We've watched Dom have to hold on to his conviction that she loved him. Letty! This woman's shooting you, and he's trying to tell all his buddies she loves me. Maybe the Letty we once knew is gone. You don't turn your back on family, even when they do. They've been together through hell and back. It's rare to see a combination like that. This guy's crazy. These two characters are so electrifying together on screen. How's that honeymoon going, Dom? You see, that's the funny thing about fate. It's cunning. It can bring you beautiful things, and it can also bring you moments like this. You see, your team is about to go up against the only thing they can't handle. What's that? You.